Hi, I'm Kate Bonner for the Watercolor Diaries on KBTV Online. Thanks for joining. Over the past decade, we have been told over and over again about the dangers of caffeine. Well, bottom line, caffeine is bad for you. It keeps you up at night, it causes headaches, it even causes osteoporosis. The message is clear, lay off those triple venti macchiatos from Starbucks. Well, the stakes actually may have risen because there's a new study out of California that claims that too much caffeine may cause miscarriages. Though professional groups such as the American College of Obstetricians and Gynecologists and the American Society for Reproductive Medicine have not taken official positions on caffeine, many obstetricians already advise women to limit their caffeine intake. However, conflicting studies and fuzzy data have somewhat obstructed this advice. The new study, published in January in the American Journal of Obstetrics and Gynecology, showed that women who consume more than 200 milligrams of caffeine a day, that's about one and a quarter cups of coffee or three cups of tea, they double their risk for miscarriage. Author of the study, Dr. D. Kun Lee, a reproductive and perinatal epidemiologist at the Kaiser Permanente Division of Research in Oakland, California, suggests that pregnant women give up caffeine for at least the first three to four months of their pregnancy. He says, and I quote, if for whatever reason they really can't do it, think of cutting to one cup or switching to decaf. Stopping caffeine really doesn't have any downside. His study looked at 1,063 pregnant women who were interviewed once about their caffeine intake. Of the 264 women who said they used no caffeine, 12.5% had miscarriages. Among the 164 women who had consumed 200 milligrams or more per day, the miscarriage rate was 24.5%. March of Dimes, the national charity that promotes baby health in the United States, was so convinced by this new study that it changed its recommendation to pregnant women about how much caffeine is safe to match Lee's advice. However, not everyone is so quick to accept this study so definitively. Dr. Carolyn Westhoff, she's a professor of obstetrics and gynecology at Columbia University Medical Center. She says that miscarriage is very difficult to study and explain. She claims that most miscarriages are caused by chromosomal abnormalities, and I quote here, just interviewing women, over half of whom had already had their miscarriage, does not strike me as the best way to get at the real scientific question here, but it is an excellent way to scare women. Dr. Westhoff says that smoking, chlamydial infections, and increasing maternal age were all stronger risk factors for miscarriage. In this case, she says, the safe bet for pregnant women on the whole caffeine issue is to follow the laws of moderation. And I quote here, I think we tend to go overboard on saying expose your body to zero anything when pregnant. The human race wouldn't have succeeded if the early pregnancy was so vulnerable to a little bit of anything. We're more robust than that. What do you think? Please leave us a comment in the box provided. I'm Kate Bonner for the Watercooler Diaries on KBTV Online. Thanks for joining. <laughs>